Another wee interesting thing from RV Maker is this wee Bailey unit. Look at the beautiful curves on that and how interesting this wee tent. I'm going to go in and talk to Gavin and find out more about this. Here I've found Gavin. What is going on with this tent action, this awning off this caravan? Yeah, so the Discovery Range is something a little bit special. Firstly, the, the vans themselves are very small, very compact, very light to tow. It takes me back to when I was a kid, basically, when we were dealing with the very small Kiwi traditional little bubble caravan, you could say. I have fond memories of those as a kid. Something a little bit special with this is that the awning design is very unique. The Discovery Range actually has a curved rear to the back of the van. The sides are curved and that allows us to actually fit a very, very unique curved awning which allows it to encompass not just the side of the van but as a one-piece awning circumnavigate and come around the rear of the van as well. From this other angle, carry on Gavin, it's Certainly. amazing. As you can see, it adds to the template and the floor plan of your caravan quite substantially. It's very well priced. This entire awning to give you that much space is only going to be an additional $2,500 approximately on top of the price of the van. Wow, so how much is the actual van itself? This is the D43 model, so it's classed as the three berth. This is priced at 46,990, so under $50,000. So for under $50,000 with the awning, you're into this much space. That's fantastic. I'll just have a quick look inside, and you can tell me the features. No. Step up. We've got a nice little bit of lounge going on here. Plenty of light with that vent. Reasonably wide door, kitchen, lovely little dining area, what a little cutie patootie, storage in the floor there, TV, plenty of cupboards there, where's the bathroom, let's find out, there we go, right behind the door here. We have the pedestal toilet on the right, storage in behind there in the cupboard, vanity, and shower, handheld shower, roof vent. Alright, let's have a look at the kitchen. It's a good size fridge there, cupboard underneath the oven, it's a combined oven. Hob on top, storage above. Let's see what Gavin's got to say about the features of this little honey. Here he comes. Hi there. Now just, I've had a quick look over here, Gavin. Give us the brief, what are the features? What are the water? Do you know the water capacity, the batteries? Certainly, the, the, the Discovery range basically runs off an external water tank, so we use roller tanks for these. It keeps the transfer, the transportable weight of the vehicle down quite substantially and also allows you to pick up one or two tanks, whatever, whatever suits you. Um, from here, again, quite spacious. It's only relatively small for floor plan. These camper, these camp, uh, caravans are available in two, three, or four berth. We're currently sitting inside the three berth. Okay, the four berth is only slightly longer and only slightly more expensive. The features in these are, of course, um, the Truma hot water system that's featured throughout the Bailey range. The big feature also with all of the Bailey range, including these caravans, is a 10-year manufacturer's warranty on all the body components. So basically as it sits, there's a 10-year transferable warranty. If you sell it, you can pass it on in five years' time. The balance of that warranty gets, goes to the new owner. And that allows you comfort and peace of mind basically to say that the body shell, fabrication and construction of this vehicle is going to be great for 10 years with ongoing support after that time. Right, there was one more feature you showed me on this awning which was a little bit interesting because of course people are always thinking about wind, movement, will it blow away? Of course. As you may notice with an awning this size you expect it to take up a lot of room both for storage and of course for transportation. I put this awning up myself when we first arrived here at the show. We managed to achieve it just by myself in 14 minutes from start to finish. We parked the van, put the awning up through the traditional guide rail as with any other caravan, and then each segment simply takes a half dozen pumps on the included hand pump to allow you to bring it up to hand pressure. It's an inflatable awning, it's incredibly lightweight and very easy to assemble. Should you get wind up, we're not even anchored to the floor here. The structure could bend, wobble, etc., and will always regain its shape. Wow. Oh, Bruce, it comes with the pump. <laughs>
it's not exhaust you, young fella. Like I say, myself alone from start to finish was 14 minutes with that morning up and ready to go. Thanks Gavin, that's excellent no information. Thank Thanks for sharing.